said she was from Washington. Yeah, Linda Jones Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't know where everybody's at, but we're here. Turn around and look at your neighbor and say, I'm glad you're here. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Outside of just being tired today, I feel pretty good. I feel like this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I, we went, where did we eat Sunday? Mother's Day. Day. Yep. Oh, we were at Mother's Day. Get with it. Frank's. Did we go to Frank? No, that was Saturday. Yeah, something. Anyhow, we, we went and I took her out to eat for Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. Then she wanted to go to Wal uh, Walgreens and, and get something. I said, yeah, I'll just set No, we went to Longhorn. Longhorn. Yeah, Longhorn. 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 Not that it matters. Because we had uh, ribeyes. Yeah. Amen. And so she wanted to go to Walgreens, and so we stopped at Walgreens, and I got tired, and my hip got to hurting from sitting there, so I got out of the car and was leaning on the door, had the door open like this, and this lady said, Sir, are you all right? I said, Yeah. I said, I, I just had hip surgery, and it got to bother me, so I thought I'd stretch my legs. She said, can I pray for you? I said, I said you sure can. Get, get yourself over here. And we had a prayer meeting right there in front of a Walgreen. And uh, so, you, you know, you, you can get prayer anywhere you want to. If you want prayer, you can just stand in front of Walgreen and get prayer. Amen. And so I got prayer and got to feeling better pretty quick. So I thank God for her prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, it's glad to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Now, I got some teaching tonight that, that, that I think everybody needs to hear. And uh, I hope you come with itching ears. Come on. Listen. We're ready to listen. And I hope you get a heart that's going to grab it and take it in. And uh, you'll grow by it. And uh, I'm just excited about being in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I'm excited about my uh, sister and brother-in-law going to be with us Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Good. And uh, so I'm excited about that. And we're going to take them to eat catfish. And we'll probably do a couple bluegrass numbers Why Sunday morning home? for you because he plays mandolin. She plays a flat top. And I'm just excited to, just to have my kin folks come and see me. Amen. Yeah, she calls every day and tells my wife, one more day, one more day. I'm going to be there one more day. So, so, they're, so they're excited about coming. We're excited about having them. And I'm glad, glad that we can open our doors to kin folks and we can get together and have fun and fellowship. Amen. Amen. Now I'm going to tell you, my sister and her are closer sisters than me and my sister, if you understand that. Yeah, that's because yeah. we're the only girls. They're the only girls in, in our family. And, uh, each other's sisters. Each other's sisters, <laughs> yeah. And so they, they've been kind of had each other's back for a few years now. Many And uh, so we're, we're just glad that they're coming. Anybody got a prayer need? Yeah, you got one more family. is is uh, Joe's uh, wife, his mother, and sister are going to be here tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. You got tomorrow. They arrive tomorrow. All right. They're going to be here tomorrow. So praise God for that. Amen. Hey, any, any requests other than that? Keep hands up. Remember Kenny and Joy. Kenny and Joy. She's in the hospital. Oh, 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 oh He said that now they've ex they've done all the stuff. They're going to run more tests. Oh, no, she has an enlarged heart, so they said this time. So anyway, remember Joy in your prayers. And Kenny, too, because he said he got three hours sleep last night, so he's trying to work. Take care of her in the hospital and yeah. shuffle the boys. And the yeah. So wow. I told him we'd pray for him too. Yeah. And pray for Sister Thomas. Yes. Yes. God bless her. Mama's unspoken. And okay. Thomas. Ruthie had 
All right. Praise God. Get in there and get that finished. April flakes are really bad. They've been turning red, real, real, real bad red. All right, let's remember April and her legs. Yeah, uh, oh, God bless. So I just need to pay for April's bill. Get All down. right. Arthritis ain't no good. <laughs> All right, praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good deal. Yes. I'm spoken. Very serious. Unspoken. Okay. God knows. How many more unspoken we got? Yeah, we, we got a lot of unspoken. Let's just go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we ask you to have your way in our lives, God. We thank you for everything that you do for glad tidings, God. The things that you do that some people don't even see that you do, God. We pray that you keep your hand upon us and strengthen us, God, as we walk through this thing we call life, God. I pray that you bless us abundantly from time to time, that we can feel your presence and healing, God. We pray that you thank you, Lord, for answering prayers, God. Continue to just touch people's lives, God, and strengthen them, Father. Have your way in all of these needs and all of these requests. In Jesus' name we ask this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Every need, Father, every need. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Glory to God. Amen.
will be seated for a moment. Amen. Give you an opportunity to write a check, get in your wallet, get ready for a blessing. Come on. Right. Come right here. I'm ready for a blessing. Come right back to me. Amen. Amen. We agree. Now, Father, we pray that you would bless glad tidings, God. God, you see our situation, our funds, God. We pray that there'd always be money in the storehouse. Oh, yes. The storehouse yes. may be full, but the bills may be yes, in. Yes, God, Lord. I pray that you continue to strengthen us and bless us in the name that's above every name. Praise and everybody said, Amen. Amen. 329, standing on the promises.
coming to church if you can't leave healed. That's right. That's, right. That's, that's my philosophy. Thank you. And Amen, uh, right. you can grab the oil if you want, Sister Skiles, or one of your prayer cloths, whatever you want to do. And uh, we just gather back there by her. And Amen. Touch the Lord as He goes by. You will find He's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. He is passing by this moment. my 
best, uh, my, my right. best girl, right. my maid of honor. Right. And I said, you know what? I said, that, and then I stood up to her when they got married. Hey, and I said, God. you know what? Amen. I said, some things don't ever change. That's right. And we just clicked. The first time I saw her kick a football barefooted, I knew she was my kind of gal. I had my right. Right. Yeah. And I'm excited about them being here. She, they need to be yeah. away for a little while, you know, just, just to get some fresh scenery. Refresh. And she said, I want to go to Savers and I want to go to the barn. And then she found out we had a Whataburger and she was so excited. Oh, there you go. Amen. She said that the Amen. night they left church and, and they were uh, on their way home and and she said they hadn't had supper yet. And her husband said, well, what do you want? She said, I want a Whataburger. And he said, well, honey, we don't have a Whataburger here. And she said, oh, a Whopper from Burger King, I guess, will do. <laughs> and so she called me from Burger King laughing about wanting a Whataburger. And I said, hey, girlfriend, we got one. And she went, well, that's another place we want to go. <laughs> there you go. That's right. I'm just good. excited because we are going to have some fun, fun. fun. some yeah. serious, purity old fun. There and just go. for them to rest and relax a little bit thank and just God. get away. But I love the Lord tonight. And I thank God it's not always easy. It's not always easy. Right. That's right. But God's always there to see you through. Amen. And I thank Amen. him for that tonight. Yeah. I thank him and I Amen. love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now we uh, we got up this morning. I told my wife, I said, let's get up and because uh, I had to take uh, the car to the shop and have it worked on. And uh, I uh I said, let's just get up, and then we'll, we'll go eat breakfast. All right. So we got the Cracker Barrel just before Ooh. a great big bus pulled in. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> As they were already in there. They was in there. And uh, she said, when we went in, they said, you had to forgive us because we just had a bus, and we're kind of understaffed right now. I said, we're not worried about it. We ain't no hurry. I said, you, 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 just, you just feed us, and we'll be, we'll be happy to to eat and get out of your hair. So just bring her uh, thank God we enjoyed breakfast with my wife this morning. An hour and a half later, we get out of your hair. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> we, we, we was was it free? And a half. <laughs> we, had we had fun we had looking at people and watching people. <laughs> I'm a people watcher. People I can't watch help it. That's what I do. And I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it. Thinking, I wonder if they're Christians or not. And, you know, you just wonder these things. And uh, but me and her had fun today, and I, I, was, I was glad she was she was with me. And all the trips to town that we took, Amen. I think one of them she went back just for her though, because we she bought me some supportive socks. And when we got home, one of those socks wasn't in the bag. Oh! We stopped at the place where Ruth and them go. The men's, the men's, men's store. Men's. Yeah, right. And I had six pair of socks, but only oh, yeah. one gray sock. And five so, and a half. Five and a half. <laughs> and so she said, she said, I'm going back to the men's store. They found your gray sock. So I said, okay, go, go get it. I'll stay here. <laughs> what you so we've had, we've had a fun day. Amen. We, we really had a fun day. If you have your Bibles tonight, I want you to turn to St. Luke's Gospel. And if you're not from, and if you don't know anything about old time Pentecost, I'm going to teach you some things that you may not know. All right. Amen. All right. St. Mark's Gospel. Luke, Mark's Gospel, chapter 15. Mark 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 can I tell you what really bothers me? It's people that want to do something and all they're all gung ho 
and then you don't see them for two or three services. Yes, well, I yes hear you. sir. Yes, sir. Can I hear an amen? Amen. 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 They want to do Woo, I, hear I had a lady come to our church up in Michigan one time, and she said, I want, and we was having a big dinner. I want to take over the youth. I said, well, who are you? I'd never seen her before. She said, well, this is my church, and I've been pastoring there a year, and I've never seen her. <laughs> And you want to take care of my youth? I don't even know your lifestyle. Come on. Right. Amen. All right. Thank God the ones that are here are here. Amen, Amen. Grandma. Amen. Mark 16 and 12. And after that, the appearance of another from unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. Right? Yeah. Talking about the 1612. 16, 16, I know. Okay. Uh, about the men of Emmaus, what it's talking about there. Yeah. And when they told it, the residue neither believed they them. Come on now. And after he appeared unto the eleven, as they sat at meat, he upbraided them. If you don't know what that means, he rebuked them Come on, for not believing. Yes. Look that word up, and that, that, that's how it will explain it. Jesus just said, well, you guys are not on the ball if you don't believe what's happened. Mm -hmm. And they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and the sick, and they shall recover. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Promises. Amen. Come on. Amen. They just sung it while ago. Every promise in the book right. is mine. Yes. Healing's mine. Hallelujah. Victory is mine. Oh, Joy yeah. is mine. Oh, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we allow the devil so many mm -hmm. times to come in and steal. What God has prepared for us. Oh my. Come on now. We oh give up God. on God too no, no, soon. No, 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 no. God, you better bless this sermon before I get started. God, hide us behind the cross of Calvary. God, give us victory tonight. Give us understanding of the word tonight, Father. We pray that you would just minister right now to your children, God, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. God's not somebody that says something and then does not do it. That's right. That's right. If he wrote it in this book, mm -hmm. you can count on it. That's right. Okay. Amen. You say, well, how come so many people are dying of cancer? I don't know. Jesus. Mm. I, I've often wondered, why is there so many people with diabetes? I don't know. It's time to go. Jesus. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Could be. Amen. Yeah. I, and, and I don't question God no. about these things. No. That's right. Why? I got six brothers, and I'm the only one with a bad heart out of six of us. Come on. Okay, Come on. Never question right. the Lord. You don't have a bad heart. No. No, that was speaking negative. I'm yes, sorry. it was. All right. Come on. My heart's getting better all the time. Amen. 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 But I, I learned 
not to question God about these things. Amen. All, right. All I do is pray in faith and I believe in faith and I expect God to answer. Right. Now I can't I can't say what your faith is going to be when I pray for you. Amen. Hello? Your faith is what's going to do the job for your situation. Right. That's right. Praise Amen. You're right. For your sickness. It's got to be your faith. All I can do is pray what God tells me to pray. Just like pray for Sister April a while ago. God said, have the ladies pray for her. And we did that. We obeyed God. Amen. Yes. And we've got to trust God that it, it's going to do the job on her. Amen. And fix her. Amen. All right. Amen. And we believe Amen. that. Amen. Come Amen. on. Do you That's believe right. that? Come on. Amen. 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 God's going to work. His will be done. Work. And the Bible said that there was two, the, the, the men going to Emmaus, mm -hmm. and, and, and then they come back telling about seeing a man, and they didn't believe it was Jesus. Come on. Come on. That's right. The, the disciples didn't believe it. The eleven. Uh, there was only 11 left because one of them hung himself. That's right. Does anybody know who the next one was that was put in? Matthias. 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 Mm -hmm. He took the place of Judas. Matthias did. Right. Oh. That's not part of my sermon, but I just thought I'd throw that in and let you know I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Amen? Come on, brother. That's it. Now, here we go. I'm going to give you Come some on. real lessons on Pentecost right here. <laughs> These signs shall follow them that believe. Yes. Praise the Lord. Now, one thing about where it says up here, uh, believe and be baptized. That's talking about baptize the way Jesus was baptizing right. people. Yes. Mm -hmm. The way John baptized people. Come on. Okay. Amen. And and the scripture said that God spoke and said. Tell them to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son uh -huh. and of the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. And when you do that, that's included the Son. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. Right. Yes, sir. Now, there's some folks that will argue with me about that, but I, I'm telling you the truth. That's what the Bible says. That's right. You say, you say how do you know that? Because I've studied it. Yeah. And, and there, 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 there's too many times people try to uh, argue with you. That if you're not baptized in Jesus' name, you don't go to heaven. But I can tell you several people that wasn't baptized in Jesus' name. And Jesus said, you're going to be with me this day in paradise. Oh, right. come on. Hallelujah. Right. He was not baptized. He sure right. wasn't. So all water baptism is, and it's a good thing. That's right. Thank God for the Baptist who pushed it. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. That you get baptized Murder. to show the world that you have died unto Ooh. sin and you've been resurrected unto life. Come on. Amen. And you do that in, in, in the name of the Father and the Son and the, and the Holy, Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Glory to God. The Holy Trinity. Amen. Yes, amen. Now, here's some things that a lot of people don't realize. I preached in West Virginia. In a country church. And I just heard that album that Wendy Bagwell, how many knows who Wendy Bagwell is? He, he's a comedian, singer. And he talked about going to West Virginia and they was having a singing in a small church. And it was a church that they suspected were snake handlers. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Now, I'm going to tell you, you go bringing out snakes in this church, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm not going to play with no snake for nobody. Right. You say, why? Because the scripture says, and people misquote it, if you get, you can take up serpents, and if they bite you, it doesn't tell you to take up a serpent. Mm -hmm. All right. It says if you're like Paul, and you're in the wilderness building a fire, and an ass jumps up and grabs you by the hand, you can shake it into the fire in Jesus' name, and you'll not have harm come to you. Right. But God never said, 
Don't go playing with snakes. No, he did not. <laughs> That's right. The You're the absolutely Don't right. tempt the Lord. Don't tempt him. Yeah. That's right. And in this record, Wendy Bagwell said there was at this small church, and the spirit got to moving, folks got to shouting, and he said he saw some guys bringing some boxes from the back room. Oh. Mm. Set them on the altar. <laughs> my Lord. Oh, my God. And started pulling out cotton mouths and well, copperheads oh, and no. timber rattlers. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and Wendy Bagwell said to his bass player, do you know where the back door is? And he said, no. Reckon where you want one if them snakes come out. Amen? Mm. <laughs> and I've been the same way. God never challenged us to play with snakes. That's right. Brian. But what he said, if it happens, mm -hmm. you can call on me. Yeah. Well, amen. Come on, and I'll take care of the situation. That's what Paul did. Thank you, Jesus. Paul had an ass stuck to his arm. And, and, and as he shook that snake off into the fire, right. those people standing around said, oh, he must be a god or something. Yeah, that's what they thought. No, he wasn't a god. He was just a Christian that knew how to get a hold of God by faith. Amen. 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 Exactly right. Come on, somebody. That's right. Amen, Amen. brother. Tornado, totally you come agree. at you and you tell it to turn the other way with the devil. Get out of here in Jesus Christ's name and turn and go. Amen. 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 Get out of here. You're right. Yes. It happened to me. And then it says, they shall take up service. And if they drink any deadly thing. Oh. Now, it's not telling you to go drink some poison. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my Lord! If you do Come on down, God. Come on down. I drunk poison. That's stupidity. Stupid. Use your brain. That's not what these scriptures mean. Come on. They got them all mixed up down there in the, in the country of West Virginia and Mississippi. They they have these churches in Mississippi too. I don't know if you ever seen any of these documentaries. Uh, they, they, they showed one where this guy had probably ten snakes in his hand, up there dancing around, shouting. And they said after the documentary, he was bit two or three times and died. Well, where was his faith? God didn't tell you to play with him, so don't play with him. Amen. Amen. You're right, brother. Is this some good teaching? For yeah, some good teaching. I'm enjoying it. You may not be enjoying it, but I'm Bring enjoying it. Don't play with him. Don't play with him. Because me and my wife has been in every kind of church you could possibly imagine. I preached for the Methodist Church. I preached for Baptist churches. I had a Baptist church tell me one time, we want you to be our pastor. I said, man, the first time I spoke in tongues, you'd get rid of me. Uh-huh. Get out of here. How about that? I had a big, commu a big community church. One, I preached a funeral, and, and they liked the way I preached, and, and they sent people to come and talk to me. They said, would you like to come? I said, I'm Pentecostal. I'm not a community church. I said, you know what being Pentecostal is? It means that I'm going to speak in tongues once in a while, and I'm going to pray for the sick every time there's somebody sick. Come on, because man. that's what we do, amen? That's what we do, amen. 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 That's what our makeup is. I had a guy come to my church one time. Now listen, this is going to sound gross. My first church, I was green as cornbread. Is cornbread green? No. I was as green as corn. Green as Irish spring. Come on. Little yellow. And his feet were black from about here wow. Wow. down to his feet. No circulation. And he come to my church wanting money for me to put him in a motel. We were poor. I'm, I'm telling you, poor people called us poor. Oh my. Come on. You have the money in the end. We used to go to Kentucky Fried Chicken and lick other people's fingers. Come on. No, no. No, that ain't true. No, That's just a joke. Come on. <laughs> And he come by and wanted us to give him money so we could stay in the motel. 
And so we gathered up what money we'd have, and there was a little motel there you could get for like 10 or 12 hours. It wasn't, wasn't nothing fancy, but it was a motel. And, and we, we said, you can go down there, and we got to visit with him. I said, do you go to church anywhere regularly? He said, yeah, I go to the Presbyterian church in that big church. I'm talking two or 300 people. I said, well, why don't you go over there and get some help? Yeah. You know what he told me? Mm -hmm. He said, they don't believe in healing like you do. Mm. And I said, well, we need to have a revival in this country. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Then it said this. They shall speak with tongues. Some of y'all have been saved for 25 years and still you ain't spoken tongues. Mm. And let me tell you what tongues is. It's a gift, from a free gift from God. From God. Yes, sir. That's right. Is what it is. Yes, sir. Pentecost means what? Fifty. Fifty. It's all Pentecost means. Right. It's, it's, a, it's a year. Right. It means fifty. And so there's no power in the name of Pentecost, but there's power in what God said that I'm going away. And I'm going to send you a comforter to come yes. and help you through your hard times. Yes. And some people say, well, I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid how I'm going to act. You won't even know you do it until you've done it. That's right. Mm. You're right. Mm. Amen? Yeah. Read the Bible. You'll, you'll get it, and then you'll, you'll, you'll open your eyes and you'll say, what happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you've been speaking in tongues. God well. touched you. And that's how you get it. You, it's, it's not a secret. Come on. It's not something to be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. But it's something that God give us as a free gift. Praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you the greatest missionary me message that I ever preached in my life was in Trinidad, Tobago. And it was on a, it was on a beach in a tent. Beautiful beach. White sand beautiful and I got all of these gifts little gifts from the states just little cheap stuff and I when I got up to preach I said how many wants a free gift man they started jumping up and started coming running up there because they speak English in Trinidad and Tobago it's broken English but they can understand English Man, I started giving, I had a whole bag of stuff, and I started giving them away, just just ear things that you listen to radio with, and, and little pair of tennis shoes, and all these things, and, and <coughs> man, I was just, I, I felt like Santa Claus giving that stuff away, and they just kept it coming. There was about 50, 60 people under that tent, and everybody got a gift. All right. Amen. And when I got through with that, I said, God, as a Holy Ghost gift for you if you accept it. Amen. I said, now you took my gifts, but God has got a gift for you. And I think we had 10, 15 people filled with the Holy Ghost that night Glory. because I made it look so easy to receive. It was hard for me. I didn't get it. It was hard for me to, to receive it. I don't know if it's because I didn't want to preach. Come on. All of my brothers were preachers. I didn't want to be like them. I was a Christian, but I didn't want to be like them. I was making three times the money that any one of them made. Come on. As a welder. Mm -hmm. Come That's on. That's not the most important thing in the world, money. Let me finish That's my right. story, Grandma. <laughs> 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 and uh, she didn't get mad at me. She knows oh, I'm picking at her. And I just did not want to preach. And, uh, but I woke up in the middle of the night, sitting up in bed, speaking in tongues, Glory preaching, God. big ah, crowds. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Many God. times she, yep. she'd shake and say, what are you doing? And I don't know, I guess I was... Talking to a big crowd, I don't know. Mm. Really she said, no, you were speaking in tongues in your sleep. Mm. So I actually got to tell you, with the Holy Ghost in my sleep. 
received Amen. it. Because I received it. I accepted it. And that's all you have to do. It's a free gift given to you from God. That's right. Just Hallelujah. accept it. Just believe it. Amen. Amen. Yeah, don't look at other people and say, I don't want to act like that because you may not act like that at all. Mm -hmm. no. You may sit there in the quietness of your pew and start speaking in tongues. That's right. It's yeah. that simple. That's, that's right. That's right. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed this teaching tonight because I sure have enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed it. You're very welcome, Grandma. I appreciate your comments, Grandma. I really do. You, you don't make me mad or aggravate me at all. I thought everybody needs a good laugh once in a while. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Alan, I'm going to pray for you before I leave. Can I do that? Because I, I, I don't want the devil tormenting you with things in your head. Who's sick? got an unspoken request. I know what them are sometimes. Sometimes there are deep things in us. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's right. I, I, I need some Holy Ghost filled men to come up here right now. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Come on, Alan. We, we're just going to pray for you to have rest like you haven't had. That's right. And God's going to meet the need that you have need of. <laughs> The, these men, it says, call on the elders of the church, anoint them with oil. And we're going to believe God for you to have victory, amen, like you've never had in your entire life before. Lord, when you guys grab that oil, and we're just going to trust God for Alan right now. And he's me. God knows what it is. Thank you. Father God, I Oh, Lord, do something special for right now, God, we pray that you touch for Alan, God. Oh, God, I know the enemy attacks at night, God. Brings thoughts to our heads, God. And God, I pray whatever the need is and he has, God, you send the victory his way like never before, God. Let him feel the joy. Let him feel the joy. Let the victory fall on him, God. Touch his family. Touch Jacob. Touch Sonny, God, tonight. The whole family, God, just minister to them and their needs right now. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. 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 Yes, Thank you, God. God bless Alan right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Am